Hey, what's up, everybody? So just past weekend, which was actually Easter weekend, me and my girlfriend ended up taking a trip over to Skagit Valley. And now for those of you who are new to Washington or for those of you who are planning on visiting Washington in the month of April, between April 1st all the way up to April 30th, Skagit Valley opens up its tourism for the Tulip Festival. So Skagit Valley is located just north of Seattle and it takes about an hour to get there, obviously depending on traffic conditions. And the place that we ended up visiting today is a place called Tulip Town. And obviously the whole area of Skagit Valley has various different places where you could go ahead and check, take a look at dandelion as well as tulips. And if you guys want to learn more about that, go ahead and check out the website, visit skagitvalley.com or tuliffestival.org. Both of these websites have a really good interactive map showcasing as far as where the different daffodil fields are as well as the tulip fields are. So I'd highly recommend taking a look and visiting those websites. So the first place that we ended up visiting today was a place called Tulip Town. And now ticket prices are $15 per person and parking is free. I mean, I guess it goes with the ticket prices, right? Now, unfortunately, when we arrived to Tulip Town, we were a little bit disappointed due to the fact that there were not a lot of tulips that were in bloom. They only had a small subsection of yellow and I believe magenta and like a little bit of a white tulip field that was kind of located in the front aspects of the tulip town. But everything else was still in its bud formation. So I would highly, highly recommend everyone wait at least another two weeks to come by and check this out. That way you don't make your drive up here and you find out there's nothing to really see yet. But it's still a really cool place to come by and hang out. They have different areas where you can kind of go shopping and if you're look, looking to buy some things for your garden or for your house, definitely a great place to come by and check out. And one of the cool features about Skagit Valley is the fact that you don't really have to pay to look at the tulips. So again, if you look at the interactive map on visitskagitvalley.com, you can generally see where the main flower fields are as well as dandelions, as well as tulips. As we were making our drive around the area, we saw various flower fields of just dandelions, like beautiful, beautiful yellow dandelions that are basically free to look at. Now granted, most of the places are considered private property, so they do have a lot, of, a lot of no trespassing signs, but unfortunately there were still some people who were kind of like, you know what, screw the rules, I'm just gonna do what I want anyways, and kind of walk in between the fields and taking little selfie pictures. But, you know, that is technically available for people who don't want to risk, who don't want to spend the money and just having a nice little view of the flower field. So the other place that we ended up checking out on our way, it was actually a very, very random stop, was a place called Christensen's Nursery and Greenhouse. And this is basically a very, very, very popular place for those of you who are looking to add on more nursery items to your house, your apartment, your condos, or whatever. They sell an exorbitant amount of different types of pots, plants, seeds, and pretty much everything that you could pretty much ask for in terms of supplementing and making your house and your garden much more beautiful. So for those of you who are looking to really, really, really add some more, you know, green to your house, green to your backyard, definitely come and take a look at Christensen's nursery and greenhouse. So again, I was a little disappointed due to the fact that most of the tulips were still not in bloom yet, but I do plan on coming back in about three weeks or at least the last week of April as they'll still continue to have this between again, uh, April 1st all the way to April 30th. And I probably will plan on visiting the other location which is called Rosengard. So remember there's two major tulip uh, gardens that you could look at. The first one is Tulip Town and the second one is Rosengard. And I do remember coming to Rosengard about two or three years ago, and it, it was a really, really great experience. Granted, it was the weather wasn't particularly eventful. It was a little bit rainy, a little bit cloudy, so you didn't really get a good, good background as far as like sunny, clear, cloudy weather. But I'll go ahead and showcase some of the pictures that I took three years ago when I did visit Rosengard. So anyways, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys get a chance to really check out the Tulip Festival located in Skagit Valley. And remember, it's between April 1st all the way up to April 30th. So right now it's about April 6th as far as the time that I, I made this video. So you guys have plenty of time. But go ahead and check out the website, visit SkagitValley.com as well as TulipFestival.org just to make sure that you are aware that whether or not the tulips are in bloom yet or not because they do update their website to showcase when the tulips are in full bloom. So again, thanks for watching everybody and I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.